Hey guys, welcome back for more Coffee Talk episode 2. So we're going to do day 6 today. So who are going to be our guests for the evening? It looks like a bad weather again tonight. Let me check this. Tomodachil first. Hide. Is this a new photo? Georgie. I think I saw the Georgie photo. Bailey's. Oh, we got Riona. We got Lucas playing basketball. Oh, someone likes her uh, tweets. <laughs> Myrtle. Uh, maybe Myrtle's gonna come. Lucas. More Lucas. And Aqua. Okay. Let's go. Let's hope it doesn't bring bad tidings. I don't know. I think it's very... It's a very nice color. Oh, it's Bailey's. And Lua. Uh, okay, both of them are here. Well, I think it's lacking something. It's too dainty. Dainty. What would you like then? Red, black, and purple? That wouldn't be the worst. Okay then, why not? But you have to commit to it and no take backs this time. Bay. Bay. I just say Bailey's. Bailey's? Bailey's. I don't know. Maybe. Let's take a break from the topic. I only have time for a quick drink before I go back to work. And it's not like we're going to decide now anyway. Maybe that's a problem. How are we supposed to plan this wedding if we keep postponing every choice we need to make? Hey Moon, uh, what do you think? Pale green lilac and daffodil yellow. Or red, black, and purple. Bay. Don't put Moon on the spot. No, it's quite alright. It's just that I wouldn't know. This is your wedding. Your opinions matter, not mine. True. No matter what I say, in the end, it, it's their wedding. Why do you look angry? Even Lua, look at her. Trouble is, we don't know what our opinions are. And we think we do, we change our mind. Like centerpieces. Oh please, can we not talk about that now? I really thought we agreed on the cute cottage core one. The ones you spotted on Tomodachil? I mean, they were your pick in the first place. They were, but they were also too expensive. We have to be realistic. But weddings in general are expensive. Especially when you want to have 200 guests. That's a low blow. But then again, they're pretty much living a long life, right? So they have a lot of friends. I can just this invite my extended family. Okay. The keyword is extended. Do you even know half these people? That's not the issue. They're going to be fighting again. If I invite one of them, I have to invite all of them. It's like a domino effect. Besides, they'll be paying for part of the wedding. I still think uh, they should, or I still don't think they should. I can pull my weight. If we have to choose, I'd rather we have beautiful things you like. Even if it means we have fewer guests. Well, if my family is not chipping in, we, not, we might not be able to afford either. Thanks for the upvote or for the vote of confidence. I don't want a wedding just to be a random meal. With a bunch of people we're not even that close to. And I said, I'll make sure we can afford a dream wedding. Or die trying. I don't want you to. She's blushing. Saved by the bell. That's work. I really can't linger. I think I'll have the drink now, Moon. Of course. What can I get you? Something that will keep me awake. I still have work to do and my head hurts. I guess a strong coffee would do? And with a nice spicy kick to it. Any preference on a spicy kick? Any strong coffee and spice. So coffee coffee plus we'll choose ginger. We have ginger again. Okay, ginger. We didn't have ginger last time. Jahe to brook. And a jahe to brook for the lady. Oh, an oldie goodie. Hmm, perfect. I can feel myself relaxing already. What? 
You're weird. That thing doesn't smell relaxing to me at all. You're, you're weird. I guess we're both weird. Now we are. <laughs> oh, hi, Desir. Oh, shit. They're going to fight again. My lovely weirdo. My perfect misfit. <laughs> What's gonna happen? This is so much better. It really is. Have I mentioned I love your smile? Never enough. Ugh, disgusting. I'm going to need something real spicy to wash this down. And I love to serve it to you, Hyde. <laughs> if Bailey's doesn't want to order, that is. Hide. Sorry, I didn't hear you come in. Yeah, I know. You were too busy doing whatever you were doing. Hey, Hyde. Go ahead. Get, get yourself a drink. I can wait. I'll stick here for a while anyway until Lua properly gets to work or gets off work. Alright then. And did you hear me, Moon? Spicy is the name of the game. Any preference on the spice or the base? Nope, just make sure it's got a spicy kick off something, then double it. Okay, so last time we didn't have... Ginger, right? What did we give him last time? He, we, we gave him something red last time. Yeah, hibiscus? Okay, let me try hibiscus plus... It's got a spicy kick of something, then double it. Okay, double the ginger then. So last time we made him a blood the red something, right? Now it's called Zobo. I felt up for the challenge, so try this. If you don't like hibiscus in this, you never will. Hmm. Let's see if you crack the hide code. Well. This is kind of troublesome, Moon. You know me a little too well. So I take it it work it this works for you? This is perfectly exited executed Zobo if I ever tasted one. Glad to see you've made good use of your ginger resupply. So you knew I couldn't get it right last time. Forgive an old man his forgive an old man his old man jokes. What? Anyhow, this is only the only acceptable way to drink hibiscus. I used to have a friend in Lagos who made me Zobo like this. Every time I visited, she lived near the harbor. We would sit down and drink it and watch the boats float by. That sounds lovely. She was a good friend, was? Oh, but yeah, she's, he's a vampire. She isn't anymore? And when you've got a vampire lifespan, friends come and go. Yeah, see? That's sad. You get used to it. Isn't this where you say something about enjoying each moment even more? On or grief being the price you pay for love? I'm afraid it's a lot more mundane than that. Some things you forget, and for others, you just get better at moving on. Anyway, speaking of enjoying the moment, your family troubles have sorted themselves out, yes? Still on the marriage track? Yeah, we are. We definitely are. Not getting too bored? Not really. Turns out planning a wedding is well... Suitably entertaining. That's one way of putting it. Can't wait to be at the marriage stage of it, to be honest. Could you sound any less enthusiastic? Hey. Here they go again. Good to see that some things don't change. Oh, it's raining. And such a dramatic backdrop too. You should start serving popcorn, Moon. I'd be more enthusiastic if we didn't fight about it every single time. No, I'm not engaging with this right now. I've got to go to work anyway. Right. And I'm going to have the drink. Bye, Moon. Bye, Hyde. See ya. What can I make you, Mr. Bailey's? I think 
Something warm, sweet, and comforting. A hot chocolate, perhaps? Yes, chocolate with honey and milk will do. Okay, as I said, chocolate, honey, and milk. It just says, let's just copy how he says it. Because sometimes if you interchange chocolate with milk and then honey, it's different than this one. Chocobi Miruku. We made this in the first game. There we go. A Chocobi Miruku for you. Perfect. This feels so good, Moon. It means a lot that you're always looking out for all of us. On a miserable night like this, it's heartwarming. But of course, you are valued, valued customers. I hope Lua didn't get too soaked. You do care a lot about her. Of course I do. Then why all the fighting? You tell me. This wedding is bringing out the worst in us. Since we sorted out the situation with my family? You mean since you cut them off? Yeah, since I stopped talking to their judgmental faces. Lou and I haven't fought about anything. Until now. Every time we try to organize this thing, it's like we become uh, different people. Hmm. Let me ask you something. Go ahead. What do you want from this wedding? How do you mean? How do you mean? But what do you mean? Okay, it's not complicated. I'm just asking what you want. Oh wait, there's a lot of things now. Nekuchel. Riona, okay. If you close your eyes and picture the day, what do you see? Honestly, I have no clue. I know Lua is there, but that's about it. That's not a bad start in, in truth. But if you don't have a specific expectations, why don't you just let her do what she wants? You make it sound so easy. I want her to have what she wants. That's exactly what I've been trying to achieve. I've been picking up on everything she's liking on Tomodacho. Every wedding picture she's spinning online, all the places she finds cool, all the fashion designers she follows. She deserves to have all that to have a special day. What is Bailey's his job again? I forgot. Yeah, he's not a model, but was he a designer or something? Bailey's. Bailey's is, yes, a freelance designer, yes. But every time I make a suggestion, she won't hear of it. She says it's too much, too expensive, too this, too that. Is it too much, too expensive? Well, that's not the point. I don't want her to have a shabby wedding. Just because I'm estranged from my family. I want her to have what she wants, what she deserves. A proper princess wedding. You're a remarkably presumptuous young man, Mr. Hyde. No, that, that's alright. I know Hyde helped Lua back in the day. I mean, he kinda, even though they fought a little bit, right? If he's got something to say, I want to hear it. Good, because I was gonna say it either, <laughs> whether you like it or not. You're sitting here going on about everything Lua should want. As if, I could, if, as if you could know what's in someone else's heart. Even when you love someone, no, especially when you love someone, you should never presume to know what they need. Lou is the only one who can tell what Luo wants. But that's exactly the problem. When I ask her, she always says, she doesn't know. Then I give her time to figure it out. It's not going to help if you pressure her. With a thousand suggestions a minute, or if you try to force her in some sort of princess wedding, just to make you feel good about yourself. But what if it takes so long that we reach old age? Dude, you're basically immortal, come on now. And we're still not married. If you reach old age and you're still together, married or not, I think that counts as a win. And since we're talking about taking some time, you should also use that time to figure out what you want. Otherwise, the best you'll get is a wedding based on your skewed idea of what Lua's wedding should be. 
That sounds pretty sad to me. Well, that wasn't pleasant to hear. Bailey's. But it also wasn't wrong. Give her time and figure out what I want, huh? Sounds so simple. I uh, should have thought about that before, I guess. You're not a bad at this stuff love thing, are you, Hyde? Perhaps I should consider a career in couples counseling. Dad, it doesn't sound nearly as much as fun as modeling. Doesn't it? Hey, modeling gets old after a while. I thought you were having a good time in LA. I was. Until I wasn't. I'm moving to Seattle, in fact. I kept my contract with the agency just in case. But there aren't, aren't many modeling jobs to be had here. Really? What are you going to do then? Go back to my Mafia Dwarf Buddies course. What? <laughs> No one can say anything. Come on, I'm obviously kidding. Are you? I mean, he's been old. Who knows if it's actually real, right? I wouldn't go back to them. I'd go back to being chased by them. Besides, I checked in on them and everyone I used to find entertaining has retired now. Meanwhile, their grandkids manage the whole enterprise. Like it's some sort of startup. Are we seriously talking about the mafia right now? That's for me to know, and for you to wonder about. Mr. Hyde likes to play a little. Guilty as charged. I can't help it when I see an earnest face, I have to tease it. I'll take that as a compliment. But also wrong with managing, or what's wrong with managing things like a startup? That sounds like a pretty efficient approach, right? You young people. Impatient in business like you're impatient in love. Efficiency isn't everything. I have all the time in the world. I don't care if things are done fast. I want them done right. Maybe you should go into slow fashion. Or fine arts if you paint with oils. That'll take some proper time. Fine arts were the first thing I got good at a few centuries ago. But my style isn't trendy nowadays. Too much chiaroscuro lighting? Is that how you say it? And putting blue in skin tones isn't novel anymore. If you're insinuating that you're a Rembrandt, shh. My, if my mafia buddies find out, I'll be in trouble. You're always joking around, Hyde. But for all that you don't, sugarcoat your advice. You're a pretty great listener. I hope you also have people who listen to you. I'm moving here to be closer to them. What was that? Nothing. I believe her phone's ringing. Ah, it's Lua. And she's done with work for a day. What? We've been talking like 10 minutes. She's done already? I in a hurry to leave here, Mr. Bailey's? Hell no, not at all. But I am looking forward to going home. And keep bickering? No, I don't think so. I had an epiphany just now. Must be something to drink. I'm going to leave the topic alone for a little while. Good elf. Enjoy your night then. I think I will. Thanks Hyde. And thanks Moon. Of course. Have a good night Mr. Baileys. Okay, what do you want to talk about Mr. Hyde? Mr. Hyde. What was that about the mafia and modeling? The fine arts and the fine arts. Are you genuinely considering a career change? All I'm considering right now is whether my car got nicked. I know old man Georgie said this area is safe and it's a bit of a pile of junk, but it's a pile of junk with sentimental value. I sense a story. It's quite a story indeed, but I'll make it short cause it's getting pretty late. I got this car many moons ago, back when Gala was my bodyguard. I'd been stuck in Seattle for a while, working day in and day out. At some point, I decided that I needed a proper break. But, you know, Gala is a bit of a stickler for the rules. There was no way I could have a night out in the middle of a big job, not on his watch. So you slipped his watch? You know me well, Moon. Some friends and I, we decided to get together. I was to provide the ride if they provided the entertainment. 
I did the usual thing, I waited until Gala was sound asleep. Then I left a pile of pillows under the duvet, hide shaped, and I snuck out of the hotel room. There was only one problem, Gala was my chauffeur as well. He had her car keys, or he had your car keys. He had my car keys, and I wasn't about to poke the bear wolf. So I went to the nearest dealership and got the cheapest car I could find. Jesus Christ, you're rich. I only intended to keep it for the night, you see. I'll spare you the details, but my friends and I, we drove to a lovely spot with a view for the sort of action which I admit might appear ambiguous from the outside. But to me, it was very enjoyable indeed. We were right in the thick of it when suddenly we hear a tap on the window. Let me guess, that was Gala? The wolf himself. He peers inside, then he starts banging on the door so hard, the whole car is shaking. We all just kind of freeze, and then he says, How dare you kidnap Mr. Hyde? Opens the door and tosses my dates outside. Mr. Hyde, you're not winding me up, are you? Oh, Moon, I wish. Sorry, it still sends me into a fit just to think about it. He princess scared me out of the car, if you can believe that. That's a conscientious bodyguard if I ever heard of one. Right? Truly earning his yearly bonus. I didn't even have the chance to explain the situation. At least not until he removed my gag. Okay. Gala acted like he was angry but in reality was mortified. If not as mortified as my dates whom I had to pick out of the grass. Poor Gala. Moon, I see where your allegiance lies. Personally, I say, poor me. I never saw those lovely friends again after that fiasco. But I couldn't be angry at Gala even then. In fact, I found his chivalry rather charming. He didn't seem to find my antics quite as charming though. He had woken up, hadn't found me, and was already suspecting the worst. And that was before he discovered me in a strange car in the middle of nowhere, in a compromising position. I think he was truly terrified on my account. So he stopped talking from, to me for a few weeks. That doesn't sound unfair. I suppose it wasn't. He also wouldn't give me my car keys back. I got stuck with this old thing you, you, you can see outside. And the worst of it is, if you can believe it, I decided as a grand gesture to chauffeur him around in it. He stopped sulking really quickly after that. I suspect he wasn't a huge fan of my driving. Anyhow, I decided to keep the car in the end for whatever reason. My car collection had some serious turnover but this isn't going anywhere. I must have replaced everything inside of it a dozen times over. And it's very banged up. But I guess I've grown fond of it by now. We're both a little stuck in time, this car and I. You're rather more sentimental than I thought, Mr. Hyde. Sentimental? Hmm. That's what you took away from that story? But I suppose you're right. A good thing it's only us here. I can plausibly deny this conversation ever took place. Still, the rain has stopped and this is my cue to go. Before I lose all my remaining cred. I hope the car is safe and sound. So do I. And moon? Yes? Nah, nothing. Have a good night. Good night, Mr. Hyde. Pretty nice story we have today. Is anyone coming out? Or anyone coming? And safe journey home. Uh, day and again. Chocobi Miruku. We just made that. It's raining again. Oh, it's not a full moon. The moon is like a pear. Look at it. First wave of visa applications. Okay. The rise and fall of weird steam <laughs> box offices. Okay. So we finished day six. It is Lua, Bailey's, and Mr. Hyde. Nice combination, by the way. But yeah. They're planning a wedding. They're planning their wedding. And Mr. Hyde. Hyde. 
for some reason is there again but yeah it gave some good uh what do you call this no 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 information no what is the word i don't know what the word is advice yeah kind of to bailey's so hopefully it will work out hopefully by the end of this game they get married just like last time right when we finished the game we saw all of their uh, what happened to them and by the end right they say uh, what do you call that uh, the epilogue right like oh this is what happened to this character yeah hopefully we have that again that was nice to see so anyways i will continue this in the next episode we'll do day seven so i'll just see you then guys bye bye